most days I can say I absolutely love what I do. But I've even heard some people say that if you love what you do, then it's not really work. Which I think is probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I mean, I work my tail off every day to do what I do, and many times the most thing I get is a bunch of incredible compliments, which is great. But money's a powerful motivator to most and the biggest reason they do what they do. I really think it's not the key reason for me. It's just one of the biggest benefits. So here's five ways that you can identify and find things that you love to do in your life. All right, number one, time. You're gonna spend a whole lot of your life in the workplace. If you work the standard 40 hours, then you're spending something like 40% of your life, like your entire waking hours at your job. For anybody else that's self-employed or, or management, do your own thing, double it, right? At least, it's gonna be a ton more. You just can't get away from how much work you do and how much your life is taken up by work. The truth is, truth is life can end in a second. So why would you wanna spend the majority of your life doing something that makes you freaking miserable? Work takes you from your loved ones, it takes you from your hobbies. Shouldn't it be something that you enjoy? Number two, performance. If you don't enjoy the, do the job that you do, then there's a good chance it's gonna impact your performance. Sure, you may have the knowledge it takes to complete the task, you might be able to go through the motions, but it's difficult to stand out at doing something that makes you miserable. There are so many changes occurring within every industry, and it's happening at a rapid pace. So you might be good at it now, but tomorrow that could all change. When it does change, you'll need to pay attention, improve knowledge, and spend time learning to improve. How can you do that when you hate it? <laughs> all right, number three, three, passion. If you somehow manage to perform well at the job you hate, you'll run into an issue at some stage. It's difficult to fake passion, and this will become an issue for anyone who seeks to fill in a sales role, perhaps fill in a leadership position. It's difficult to inspire others when you struggle to inspire yourself. Number four, the extra mile. Employers are always praising the employee who goes the extra mile. Sometimes it's just one of those things you have to do, but it's much easier to put in that work when you care about your job, when you're passionate about it. It won't feel like you're going the extra mile. It'll just be a continuation of your job description. Number five, fulfillment. When you finally achieve the goals you set in a job you love, you'll reach out a feeling of fulfillment that can't be replicated anywhere else. It's one that lasts. Achieving something that you enjoyed every step of the way that will make you feel greater than anything you could ever imagine. Or maybe if, even if, or, or especially if you have to like fight tooth and nail to get there. There's no obstacle that can stand between you and fulfilling your goals. When you're truly passionate about what you do, you don't have to hate your job. If you do, I have a way to help you out with that. I've got a bunch of courses, I do coaching, and I'd love to talk to you about what that looks like. Hit me up, and let's talk about it sometime. Oh, and there's one more thing I think you should remember, no matter what you do in life. It can always be dark, but there's ways to turn things around. And when you do that, there's one thing you'd have to say. Flip out! <laughs>